We are wrapping up on Ionia Week with a very special art destination that you won't want to miss. Here to talk to us about the Isabel Phoenix Gallery is owner and artist Vivian Nengrady. Thank you so much for joining oh, us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so why don't we start off by talking about your gallery. It's very unique and it's got beautiful works of art. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's named after my great-grandmother. We have had uh, quite a few interesting shows. The first one, the first annual uh, celebration was nevertheless she persisted. We uh, didn't have quotes on that. We actually, I wanted people to talk about their own persistence and what they have done. We had writers and sculptors and uh, painters, watercolorists. So that was an, that was 45 artists. That was a really fine show. The and second year. And your second? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll keep going. The second year we had, um, called Another's Perspective. And so we had people talking about their lifestyles, the different ways that they live and, and partner, and also people from the prisons. And we had also people from mental health that all worked together and talking about how they see their life and how other people can see them. Yeah, we're seeing some beautiful video right now. That's one of the unique aspects ah. of your gallery is that you invite the public to be part of the exhibit. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the video that we're seeing right now is of David McCord's work and uh, we had him for six weeks. This was his life's work and he is now, a uh, part of this show can be seen at the uh, Ionia uh, Free Fair. Yeah, that just uh, kicked off yesterday. That's right, it did. And so he has, he is in the flower building. And so we're really happy that we were able to take his show and put it on to uh, the fair so other people can uh, enjoy his work. And hopefully it'll go on to schools because it's an amazing life work. Yeah, being able to take some of the artwork that the community has exactly. had a hand in and then put it on an additional platform in yes. the community yes. is really fantastic. That's, that's kind of what we're about. We, I love that. we do love to have, uh, we've had uh, high school kids, uh, we've had a student wall, we've had uh, kids from uh, middle school mm -hmm. uh, do a whole, the whole gallery was made up for the uh, St. Peter, St. Paul school at one point, Ionia uh, Middle School also. I love getting all ages involved yes, absolutely. in art. It is so important and it's part of learning. Exactly. The artwork is so important in all of this. You're doing something really unique right now as we're talking we about are. bringing the community in. It is called the Dazzle. We are. We so are. let's talk about the name first. Well, the Dazzle. I had a dream, okay, uh -huh. and, uh, and, and literally a dream. And I had a dream about a zebra, and I'm saying, what does the zebra do? And the zebra actually um, is, the herd is called a Dazzle. I didn't know thought, that. I didn't know that either. And so what I decided was I, I wanted to paint zebra. So I started painting zebra and I then expanded it and I've invited about 25 artists to expand on this particular uh, concept. And it's called the dazzle, a different kind of balance. Because, um, which is really interesting, uh, the uh, the herd, each, each piece, each Zebra is unique mm -hmm. in their own patterning, and they're safe within the group. So you have a group of the community is safe. Mm -hmm. Alone, they're not so safe. <laughs> so, Working together, so we're can talking about so community. Much more. Yes, exactly. So we're talking about community and the the, the how you can um, develop uniqueness and be safe within your own self. Yeah, okay, and so that is kicking off on September 24th. That is right. And you have an open reception happening on the 28th we where do. people can step out and listen to some great music, live exactly. music. Grady Miller Band is coming in from uh, Akron, Ohio. Grady is my son, so, Aww. but he is, they, they are, play in uh, Cleveland and Akron area. So. And an opportunity for people to come out yes. and talk to the artists as yes. well, which is very unique. And with the Dazzle, we're having a wall that's called the Dazzle Wall, and so people can come and paint uh, different paintings. I think we've seen some of that uh, the, on, the, on the background. Um, they can come in and buy a small painting or a piece for $5, and paint it, or $8 or $10, and then it'll go up Love on the that. wall, 
and we are creating this whole wall that has, I have no idea how that's going to work. That is so incredible, awesome for people to come out and take part in. Yes. We have to say real quick, not that we want to think about Christmas yet, but you are doing Christmas in July. Yes, we are. Uh, the 26th and 27th, Dode uh, Jewelry and myself, we are having people come in and they can put stuff on layaway. Um, Call us and we'll tell you about it. Uh, there's a 10% discount on all original. So, all right. and you also have Tipping Point, which is next year's tipping exhibit. Point we have is to mention next quickly. Year. Yes, Tipping Point is. We're going to be talking about. Uh, is there a tipping point? Isn't there a tipping point? What does that mean? And I think I started with a painting, and that's where we're heading that, in that direction. Much more to come on that, and people can get more information by going to your Absolutely. website as well. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you so much. Lovely to have you in studio. Oh, it was great fun. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And don't go away. We'll be right back.